your first commitment is to God. <clears throat> the God who gave you life, who blew breath into you, has a right to expect a return on his investment above all others. He gave you life. Mama bought you shoes, daddy got you a bicycle, God gave you life. I will not face a giant without you. I will not make a major decision without prayer. I will not bring somebody into my life just because they please me. I'll submit myself, my destiny, my future over to you. You are my foundation. You are my rock. You are my fortress. You are my strength. You are my defense. Without you, I can do nothing. You are the substratum of every dream I have ever dreamed in my life. And I will take no promotion you don't want me to have. And I will accept no friend you don't want me to have. You're my rock. You owe him a level of commitment. You owe him a level of commitment. It's wrong for you to think that you're going to give an offering and God's going to bless a business you ain't committed to. Bless a marriage you ain't committed to. Bless you in school and you won't study. Bless you as a saint of God and you won't walk like a saint of God. Who do you think God is? Somebody playing in Vegas? God is not hitting a slot machine. God is a guaranteed, definite I am. The mighty God, oh sure, bless you. He told Abraham, I swear I'm gonna bless you. Ain't no chance, ain't no doubt, ain't no joke about it. If I told you I was gonna bless you, I will open up the windows of hell and then then wonder why I thought I'd be further than I am at the age. Let me tell you why you are not further. It is not the devil, it is not witches, it is not demons, and it's sure God ain't haters. You are not any further than where you are right now because you have never thrown your whole self at anything in your life. You take a half committed man and a half committed trifling woman and put them together and they'll have some half committed trifling kids and the whole house will be half committed because children will be what they see. Stop fussing at your kids. They're a reflection of you. Your second commitment is to family and it's a very important commitment. Through the storm and the rain and the heartache and the pain and the disappointment, you have to believe in the we and the us and not the me and the you. Or you're not going to make it. It's a commitment. It's not a feeling. You got to come home when you're in love and you got to come home when you're not in love. Or you're not going to make it and stay there till the love comes back. It's a commitment. Y'all don't want to hear real truth. You want to hear fairy tale Hollywood shake and bake stuff, but in reality, it's a commitment.